Let's see what Xenos has to say with the uh, patch 6.1 tank balance changes. I've actually, this patch, I swapped over to maining warrior because uh, I had some issues. Wings on a controller is not an easy thing to pull off with the snapback problems that a lot of controllers have nowadays. So with a warrior, I don't have to worry about that. So that's like the main reason. But uh, let's see what he has to say. The winner takes all. Area of effect has been changed from a cone before you to all nearby enemies. I don't like this. Blood weapon. Clemency execution no longer interrupts action combos. That's good. Wait, stacks of inner release. Oh, that's that's the really good thing for warriors. Stacks of inner release will now only apply to fell cleave and decimate. The additional effect nullifies stun, sleep bind, heavy and most knockback drawing effects have been changed to grants inner strength, nullifying stun, sleep bind, heavy and most knockback and drawing effects. Same thing, different name. Holy Spirit execution no longer interrupts action combos. Dude, I don't I think that this is like against uh I think that this is against <laughs> copyright. I'm not sure if this is even going to fly by on YouTube. Confetti the additional effect restore zone HP has been added with a cure potency of 400. Okay, I think that this should be good. No, is it? Jesus Christ. You done, Xenos? We did it. Okay. Yeah, we did it. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I don't want to get, like, copyright struck. Xenos, please. <laughs> the additional effect restores HP with each weapon skill successfully delivered or spell cast has been added with a cure potency of 1,500. If an amount of HP eternally or maximum HP is restored before the walking dead timer is on, the effect will not change to undead rebirth. Duration carried over from the time remaining from Walking Dead. Under the effect of Undead Birth, most attacks will not lower your HP below one. So you no longer lose it if you if you get all of the um, if you get all of the stuff. Okay. First thing, man, I want to talk about this shit right here. So the flood of darkness, who gives a shit? You didn't use flood anyway. Who fucking cares? Whatever. Or wait, actually, darkness is the lower level one, right? Yeah, okay, so this doesn't even fucking matter at all. Okay, this, this who who fucking gives a shit? Okay, so blood weapon. This is fucking poggers. This should have been in the game, I don't know, two years ago, three years ago. Night, the fact that the this is on a duration just blows my mind. Why couldn't they just make this five stacks? The super good part is that they actually... <laughs> actually changed it this is awesome so this means that getting in your five gcds is going to be super easy if you don't get in your five gcds now you're a fucking idiot dark knight isn't going to be relying on skill speed anymore you're going to be able to stack as much skill speed as you want yeah so overall this is fucking awesome all right star wars soul now acquired at level 40 why the fuck wasn't this in the game earlier but doesn't matter it's in the game now fuck yeah we can aoe well actually wait a minute can't we aoe in level 70 content i don't think so because it doesn't give you gauge but at least it's there but I do have a question. If they're going to change this, where the fuck is missionary? It's like, thank you very much, but there's more. <laughs> It would be cool to be able to use missionary and level 70 content. It ain't going to be perfect, but all of this is good. All right, now this right here, this is super good. Okay, living dead. Yep, Holy living fucking dead shit. Change. Restores HP with each weapon skill successfully delivered or spell cast. Okay, now this is important. This is very important that they put spell cast in here. You know why? Because for those of you Dark Knights that don't know, your AoEs and shit are actually spells. They're not weapon skills like your fucking stalwart soul and uh, whatever the other one is. So restores HP with each weapon skill has been added with a cure potency of 1,500. Holy fucking shit. You guys said it was like 27, 28% HP. Now, before I continue to read the rest of this, okay? When they talked about this originally, we were worried that uh, you could cleanse yourself too early. So you'd be getting hit with Ockmorn, right? And because you were healing yourself, you could cleanse yourself. So like, let's say you're taking five Ockmorn hits. Okay, well, on the third one, you actually heal yourself and then you cleanse your walking dead. Well, now you just die on the fourth one. Okay, so we were worried about that. But they actually fixed that too. 
which is something else I talked about in another video. Have you seen that video? You should check out that video. What they need to add on Walking Dead is that once Walking Dead is active, regardless if you cleanse it or not, you get the full 10 seconds. If an amount of HP totally in your maximum HP is restored, <laughs> they were taking notes when Xenos was speaking. <laughs> before the walking dead timer runs out the effect will now change to undead rebirth with a duration carried over from the time remaining for walking dead while under the effect of undead rebirth most attacks will not lower your hp below one so basically what this means you're getting hit with ochborn you cleanse yourself you don't have walking dead anymore now you have undead rebirth you're still in vuln for the remaining time but you're not gonna die anymore this is fucking awesome living dead is a much 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 better invuln now from a healer standpoint you don't have to worry about the timing at all anymore like as far as cleansing too soon that will alleviate a lot of i guess pressure on the timing you just have to make sure that it's healed let's just celebrate and how awesome this is okay because this is super fucking good however i don't want to be the hype killer okay i don't want to because trust me i'm like ridiculously excited about this too but there will be times there will be a dark night that will be here There will be times when you will die. There will be times when you will be in the grave. However, those times will be a lot, lot, lot smaller. So that's good. I'm in the grave. Just another early Benny. I'm in the grave. <laughs> All of these changes to Dark Knight are ridiculously good. Now, I could be wrong about this 1500, but you're going to get, what, like four to five weapon skills? I don't think that this is going to be enough to fully cleanse yourself. We'll see. If you can cleanse yourself, then this is pretty much everything that should be. Okay, so Equilibrium is 1200, so you get between four and five of these. Yeah, you might be able to. That's going to be some poggers heal. I think there's still going to be times where you die. But look, man, I've been dying to living dead for like, fucking seven years so i'm a bit uh you know that's the only life i know <laughs> here's the thing this is so close to home gang at this point but there's so many added layers like you have the one layer the living dead then the next layer walking dead with healing then the next layer undead rebirth and it's just like fuck man see you brought up a good point you have to be able to attack something like i said i'm not trying to kill the hype but when you guys were like oh you can cleanse it oh you can ha 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 you won't always be able to now will you be able to probably cleanse it a lot of the time yeah sure but it's still a little stupid it went from huge stupid to just a little stupid now you say i'm nitpicking until you use this and you die because you because the boss flies away it says okay here's a tank buster xd too bad i'm flying away tee hee and the dark knight's sitting there like oh fuck me dude but if that happens your <laughs> healer should be able to gcd heal man <laughs> said by somebody that clearly doesn't play final fantasy 14 healers gcd healing healers gcd healing <laughs> it's like watching a pig riding a bicycle a healer gcd healing good luck with that <laughs> Healers are like, what? GCD? No, 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 no. Listen, GCD is for damage. And you're like, no, no. Can, can I get one heal? Here's like, no. Just one heal. No. I just, can, just one. No. You're going to have to wait. A, I got I got like 10 seconds until my next though, GCD, buddy. You better survive. <laughs> be able to heal I it. can I can heal you in about 10 seconds bro not right now <laughs> the boss is up they should be able to guys I've been dying to living dead for like seven years so this nerf doesn't matter who the fuck cares about this anyway you don't even fucking use this level 90 content dungeons are easy anyway what does it matter blood weapon this is pogger stalwart soul this is good but also they need to add missionary here they need to have missionary at level 70 just like the other tank mitts living dead Glare went from mage. like a one out of 10 to like a fucking 9.5 out of 10 super fucking good yoshi killed like 90 percent of my content 90 percent of the time i was complaining about living dead <laughs> 
holy <laughs> fuck. What the fuck am I going to do now? Man, I got like four <laughs> videos devoted to how, to how bad Dark Knight is. Okay, Marauder <laughs> Warrior. All right, now Warrior didn't get very many changes, but the two changes I got were fucking poggers. These are very right, good. No, uh, no, 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 no. Has been changed from a Actually, film. no. I don't think that these are, I mean, in a release, amazing, really cool, awesome. Overpower changed from a cone? I don't like it. I don't like it. I like the cone, dude. For you to all nearby enemies. So what does this mean? I'm going to draw for you. There's you. Okay, now when you overpower, it's like this. Yeah. You actually get a little bit behind you too. All right, so it went from this to this. So that's better. Won't the circle be lower range than the cone? I think the circle might be lower range than the cone by like a y'all. It is. This is way fucking better. There was never a time the cone mattered over the circular. Like how many of you in dungeons or when you were AoEing, you would have a mob like here, you'd have a mob here, then here, then here. You know what I mean? I usually don't. But that's because I came from World of Warcraft. I usually keep the mobs in front of me. Is this how actual, is this how tanks do dungeons? They tank like this? Is this how other tanks do it? Oh, God. <laughs> like, I'll tell you what. Proper tanks do this? No, 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 no. Because, see, here's the thing. You got different AoE ranges for different classes. Now, I'm not as, knowledge as knowledgeable as Xenos on this, so I don't know, like, the whole shebang but like to me seems to me like these mobs are pretty fucking far apart and there's going to be some aoe abilities that are going to miss so what i do is i move in a way that i clump all the mobs together i will clump all those motherfuckers together like i make you one big fucking clump by just using very simple movement mechanics i yeah i stack them up so that, that way, it makes it easier for everybody to hit everything. I never tank like this. I never tank like this. <laughs> Be, I don't, may, maybe that's me, but that's the way that I look at it. Because, like, if you just tap, I mean, I, I'm, us, I'm using this on a control, but if, if you just, like, slightly move a little bit, so, like, let's say the mobs... Fucking. Am I really going to bring up paint? I mean, I could. So, like, say you got, you got, like, mob here, mob here, mob here, mob here, right? And I started over here. Bam! Grab all of them. I'm going to move, like, here. And the mobs, they're going to start clumping up. Right? They're going to go like, whatever. They start clumping up, but then they start like growing apart again. They don't stay clumped up, right? So what I do is I do a little bit of tap dancing. So I'll go like here, just, just a little bit. Not, not even this much. This is too much. Like this does not accurately represent. It's, it's way less. It'll be like, just move a little bit here. Then move like a little bit here. Then a little bit here. So technically, I'm still in the same spot, but because I'm constantly moving and readjusting, the mobs are constantly trying to fucking clump up more and more and clumping and clumping and cl clumping. That's how I do it. And they, they keep fucking clumping. I'd, so it's like, I don't do it the other way. Yeah, I don't tank mobs that far apart either. I think that what ends up happening is like, you know, somebody's going to like AOE like this and they're going to hit these two. Somebody's going to AOE like this and maybe they'll hit these three. Somebody's going to AOE like from over here and maybe grab the... It's like, I, I kind of feel like this, you're not always going to grab the four mobs. But, you know, again, like I said, Xenos is way more knowledgeable than me. He would know better. But yeah, I, I do things a little bit differently. I mean, so let's say you were targeting this one. So you'd have to like back your character up right here so you could cone all this shit. Then you'd have to run in the middle to circle AOE. See that shit? That's fucking awful. It's fucking miserable. It's annoying. It's tedious. Now it's just a circle, which is good. Which is yeah, but see, like if you do it like I'm doing, it doesn't make a difference because they're clumped up. I'm always going to hit all of them. 
with the cone and with the other ability. What should be. Now, listen up! Right here. Thank fucking God. Today is a good day. Whenever you use in a release, if you use another GCD, whoop, took a stack. Whoop, took a stack. And why the fuck does Inner Chaos remove a stack from Inner Release? That is so stupid. This is a fucking issue. You should be able to use Infuriate during your Inner Release. They need to fix this. Stacks of Inner Release now only apply to... See, this was something that I was wondering if I was doing wrong, because I'm like, well, considering that the Infuriate no longer consumes Inner Release, I can just infuriate during inner release. I kind of feel like this sounds kind of wrong, but doesn't feel like I'm losing anything to maybe. So, so now I know that I can actually do that. That's good. <laughs> I'll cleave and decimate. Say it again with me. Stacks of inner release now only apply to fell cleave and decimate. The additional effect nullify stun, sleep, bind, heavy, and most knockbacks draw effects has been changed to grant strength. Nullifying stun, sleep, bind, heavy, and most knockbacks. Wait, what the? Oh, they split the buffs. Okay, okay. Okay, yeah, yeah. All right, now, what does this mean? This is the best that Warrior has ever felt to play. That's what this means. And the reason why that this means is now you can use Infuriate during... I don't know if it's the best. I'll tell you, it feels pretty fucking good. <laughs> inner release. And now you can use inner chaos during inner release because if stacks of inner release only apply to fell cleave and decimate then that means that when you infuriate and you get your inner chaos that means it's not going to take a stack anymore this also means that you can use inner release at five seconds on the cooldown or whatever and then put up i yeah so you can pre-pull ir a little more comfortably now you might have to do your aoe combo to put up i though so you know for those of you that play warrior this is going to completely change the clunkiness of warrior warrior is arguably the best it's ever been now i'll put it this way warrior is not clunky at all anymore what about ir damage instead of crit yo brother let me tell you something all right i got a lot of ideas for some changes that they could do to make warrior even better but look man let's just be happy with what we got you guys are telling me i was being too greedy on living dead well i'm telling you you're being too greedy on warrior i am <laughs> legit more excited for this patch than I am the Savage patch. Like in this patch, we get all these badass changes and we also get the fucking ultimate. We get the new primal and we get the fucking... Look, man, I'm gonna be honest, okay? I don't care about Savage near as much as I used to. So anyway, this is super ridiculously good. Paladin, Clemency no longer interrupts combo actions. Holy good. shit. Holy spirit. Very no good. No longer interrupts combo actions. This Very good. They, like This, this was such a... Like, listen... Let me tell you something about Paladin, okay? Paladin has the shortest, at least it had, I still feel like it has to a certain extent, the shortest end of the stick when it comes to combos. Because let me tell you something else. You want to know what else shouldn't interrupt combos? Atonement. Atonement should not interrupt your combo. Why? Why does Atonement interrupt your combo? Warriors can do infuriates, fell cleaves, fucking inner release, the, 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 what's it called? Primal rends. They can, they can cast like almost all of their abilities and not interrupt the fucking combo. Paladin's like, oh man, there's one stack of Atonement I feel like using. Guess you don't want to have your combo, huh? Guess you didn't like that combo after all, did you? You look at Gunbreakers, same thing. Gunbreaker can press all of its buttons and still go back to its combo. Paladin's just like, did you sneeze? You dropped your combo. Dropped your combo. Did you, did you no, dropped your combo. It's like, why? It's so ridiculous. Atonement also needs to not interrupt. Like literally right now, Paladin is the, I think it's the only class that has a weapon skill that is not a part of the combo that interrupts the combo. Am I wrong here? I don't think I'm wrong here. I'm pretty sure that Paladin is the only tanking class that has a weapon skill that has weapon skills that can still interrupt its, its one, two, three. It's crazy. But hey, at least I can do Holy Spirits without breaking the combo. That's a big deal. Really want to list your opinions on Paladin. Seems people I watch don't play Paladin as much as the others. Dude, Paladin was my jam up until I swapped to Warrior. Now I've been playing a lot more Warrior.
Well, I mean, it started yesterday, but it's like Paladin, I love it. I love Paladin. It's just again, for me the biggest problem is fucking controller snapback make it makes it so unreliable for me to do wings that it becomes a really big downside on our rating teams. Holy circle execution no longer interrupts action combos. Yeah, a lot of stuff that doesn't interrupt combos anymore. And they made it so that they don't just fucking slap you across the face if you fuck up your confetti here, which thank God as well, because that was punishing as hell. Paladins I mean, have zero. They, they, instead of slapping you across the face, they give you a slap on the wrist. It's like, bad, you lose your confetti here, but I'll still let you do the blade faith combo. Bro, downtime all the time. This is. What do I mean with wings? Uh, so wings, the problem that I have with wings uh, is very easily explained. So wings, when you do wings, say that I'm this paladin right here, right? And your raid, for starters, if you're doing wings, your raid needs to be behind you. So you need everybody to be around here. So if like little Timmy's over here, right? I'm a pop wings. Oh crap, this is not uh, this is not the good triangle. Give me a second. So if little Timmy's over here and I pop these wings. <laughs> Oh, crap. I need to do this differently. I'm not a very good with pain. So I'll pop wings. Okay, I need to do it wider. Give me a second. So I'll pop wings. This is almost like me popping wings in the game. I'll pop wings. And I protect these dudes. And little Timmy over here gets fucked. This will usually be uh, Mr. Tummy Giggles. He will be outside. Or Shadow Mancers. This will usually be Shadow Mancers or Tummy Giggles. They'll be here and I'll protect everybody else. Or sometimes Ketnet because Ketnet likes taking damage. That's just his thing. But <laughs> So sometimes I'll pop wings and this happens. But this is not my fault, right? This is the fault that people didn't stack up properly. So the problem that I have with wings is that on controller, I have a snapback issue. That means that when I'm positioning for wings let's say my character is facing this direction i need to be facing this direction and i'm doing little micro adjustments in my character to position it perfectly for wings and what happens with snapback is that sometimes you'll do this on your controller let me let me just yeah you guys can see it you'll do like this and then you release and when you release the controller because these analog sticks are cheap as shit and fucking suck, what's going to happen is all of a sudden, my character turns this way. Right before I do wings. And what happens then? Well, at that point... Oh, I can't reverse, I can't reverse this thing. Well, we'll just do it like this. Wings will go like this. And protect literally no one. So this is great. This is fucking great. So yeah, snapback, big problem for Paladins in 14 if you have snapback, which for some strange reason, all of my controllers have. And people say it's because I manhandle my controllers. I beg to differ. I say it's cheap analog sticks because like this controller had snapback like when it was new. Like day one that I got this controller, it had snapback. So whatever. I got snap back on all my controllers so lots of times this would happen with wings and so that's how i was like okay i quit i'm just gonna it's gonna play a different class because i still prefer playing pal than way more fun so fucking amazing okay so wreck is gonna grand blade of fate what is this because password entry has failed multiple times you will not be able to log in for <laughs> Good job, sucks. <laughs> Ready. So this is pretty much like primal rin shit. Holy circle no longer interrupts actions. This is good. Confidier, yep. the additional effect restores own HP. I always thought it was weird. Confidier didn't restore HP. It just kind of felt weird that your oh, holy spirit didn't. healed you, but then your confidier didn't. All right, blade of faith, no longer a combo action with confidier. Okay, so confidier isn't going to be the same button as blade of faith. Wait, it still is the same button? Oh, yeah, it still is. It's just new protection in case you do five holy spirits. Requirement yep. of blade of fate, yeah. So side of the buff, they add the additional effect. Wow, it's, so it's a, a lot off this combo now. It's yeah, a so it's like fantastic change. Yeah, I guess they had to give you a trait for this too. You don't actually, you don't actually heal that much from this combo, not at all. 
Like I've done this combo multiple times. I barely feel its effect when I'm tanking. So I don't think you get that much healing out of this. Right. This is quite a bit of healing, man. I know it's not ideal to cast clemency on yourself, but at least you don't drop your combo anymore. Like these changes right here are super good. And like yes. you won't have any more downtime either. Because if you have to peel off the boss and it's during like a physical window, you can you can always you can just, just holy spirit, holy spirit when you have to yeah. run away. I mean, ideally you don't. Ideally you don't peel off the boss, but basically this option I mean, being here. I used I used to still do this even if it would break my combo because like, ah, oh, whatever. At least I'll get a holy spirit in there. It's better than a freaking shield lob is super good people that can't count to five now get to play in walker hell yeah hell yeah. Hey, hey hey dude 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 okay that that is dirty and you fucking know it xenos come on man that's dirty like you paladin's got a pretty fucking tough rotation don't 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 eat like you're playing fucking friggin warrior come on dude warriors where's like bam 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 boom done Paladin's rotation is way more complicated. It's not just about, oh, you forgot to count to five. It's like, no, I didn't forget to count to five. I was looking at the 50 other mechanics that were happening at the same time, and I was trying to, you know, survive while also trying to do my rotation. And somewhere in between there, I lost track of which number of Holy Spirit I was in. And it didn't even happen that much, like maximum two times on a raid session, two times per raid session, maximum. Damn, I hear excuses. You don't even know how to play Paladin, Ketnet. Yeah, brother. <laughs> Counting to five is hard, and so is reading. Look, all of this is good. Clemency is good. Holy Spirit's good. Holy Circle's good. <laughs> God, dude, that's so cringe. The noob protection. Ugh. Anyway, okay. So dude, the the, 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 so, so wait a minute. Wait a minute. So when they add new protection for Warrior... That's cool. When they add new protection for Paladin, it's somehow new protection. So the changes to inner release, that's fantastic. No opposition, no problem whatsoever. It's great. Amazing change. They add something very similar to Paladin's. All of a sudden, it's new protection. Oh, okay. So they added new protection for the Ungabunga class, but that doesn't get a comment out. I see how it is. I see how it is. New protection is good. All right. And all this healing is super good. So look, man, these are some poggers changes. All right. Yo, let's look at Gunbreaker. Ah, shit. <laughs> Why couldn't they just make No Mercy last 25 seconds? So anyway, so Gunbreaker mains in chat. Sorry, it sucks to be a Gunbreaker. You didn't get any changes. I guess if you fat finger your royal guard, you're not as punished anymore. I guess you can look forward to that. What do you mean it sucks being a Gunbreaker, dude? Gunbreaker's got some of the best mitigation in the game right now. What are we talking about? Friggin' Heart of Corundum? Are you kidding me? Sucks being a Gunbreaker? <laughs> What are we talking about here? I guess. We're not going to dive too deep into it because I've already covered this shit. But for those of you curious on my Gunbreaker thoughts and shit, you can check this video out. But basically in this video, I explain what's wrong with Bloodfest and No Mercy. TLDR, if they make No Mercy last 25 seconds, you could fit your entire Bloodfest No Mercy. Anyway, that's it. That's my opinion. You sick bastard. You sick motherfucker. You actually did it. You actually fucking did it. You actually fucking listened to me. It only took years, but you finally listened to me. <laughs> I bet you remember that time we met at the media tour. Which I'm not allowed to anymore. That's pretty fucked, but that's fine. That's, that's fine, I guess. I guess that's okay. I guess. But you <laughs> he's, did it. He's Thank so you. fucking Thank salty. You. He's so fucking salty, dude. <laughs> The amount of soul. I'm in the grave. Look at that production value. You know, he's got he's got more production value than me. I'll tell you that right now. I mean, look what I have in my backdrop. It's a fucking it's a fucking soundboard. That's it. <coughs> oh man, have you seen his highlights video? What highlights video? The best of Zeno. Oh no, I, I I don't have time to watch it. Today. I'll probably watch that one off stream. But yeah, guys, you sh you should check out Zeno. Check out Zeno's for sure. Make sure to hit like on that video. That was really good. Uh, at the end of the day, you know, I'm I'm just like doing a little bit of banter here, but I love Zeno's content. It's pretty awesome.